to Storytime with the Met. My name is Christina and I'm so glad to see each of you. We'll be gathering every Thursday at noon for a story and an activity. So find a cozy spot and let's get started. We'll begin with our Storytime song, just like we do at the museum. It goes to the tune of This Old Man. So we'll start on the count of three. One, two, three. Welcome friends, get ready, get set for story time at the Met where we love to read and sing and look at works of art and picture books. We'll use our eyes to look and see. We'll use our ears to hear stories. Now we'll take a seat and give a Let's begin with our first book. Great singing, everyone. All right, so our story today is called All the Way to Havana. It's written by Margarita Engel and illustrated by Mike Curato. We have a gift and we have a cake. And today, we're going to drive all the way to the big city to see my new baby cousin on his zero-year birthday. Some of this island's old cars purr like kittens, but ours is so tired that she just chatters like a busy chicken. Car, car, cluck, cluck, cluck. Car, car, cluck, cluck, cluck. Can you say that with me? Car, car, cluck, cluck, cluck. Today, Cara, Cara sounds like a tiny baby chick. Pio, 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 pio. Uh oh, what does that mean? Papa opens the trunk and lets me hand him the heavy toolbox. Then he raises the hood to show me all the rattling parts that have been fixed with wire, tape, and mixed up scraps of dented metal. What do you see in this picture here? He listens to each tapping taka taka noise that Kara Kara makes as together we struggle to fix all the grunts, squeals, and grumbling clunks, clunks that should be busy Cluck, cluck, clucks. I choose a wrench and a bolt and a belt. No luck, but we keep trying and trying, even though all the silly noises are still a mystery unsolved. Do you think they'll be able to fix the car? We don't give up. We experiment. We invent a twist here, a tightening there, Move this, hold that, try one way, then the other. Until finally, after discouraging minutes that feel like endless hours, Kara Kara once again begins to sound like a chattering hen. Hooray! The road is bumpy and our noisy car ends up so crowded with friendly neighbors who need a ride that I feel like we're traveling in a barrel of elbows and knees. What would it feel like to be in a barrel of elbows and knees? Maybe kind of pointy. But we have a gift and we have a cake and we're driving to my new baby cousin's zero year birthday. We purr, Kara Kara, and we glide, Taka Taka, and we zoom, zoom. Can you say that with me? Zoom, zoom. Zoom, cluck, cluck, cluck. Besides farms, forests, beaches, and forts. Wow, so much to see. Toward the curved road by the seawall, 
where Mama points out noisy old cars of every color, yellow, pink, purple, green, orange, and even a bright red car with huge fins like a lurking shark. What color cars do we see here in this picture? I see blue, green, red, green, white, blue, gold, purple, yellow, all sorts of colors cars. Which is your favorite? I'm glad that Karakara is a peaceful blue like the clear sky above and the wide sea beyond. Some of the noisy old cars around us have torn seats, shattered windows, and cracked mirrors. Many of the cars roar, growl, whine, or putt putt. What kind of sounds do you hear cars make? But most just honk, honk, honk as they glide bumpity bump on potholed city streets. Where people lean over crumbling balconies as laundry dances and a sea breeze sings. When we finally reach Tia's house, I hug Abuelo and everyone smiles as we admire the funny baby boy who is too little to know how to open a gift or play with the box and the ribbon or build a teetering mango and pineapple tower. What do you see the people doing in this picture? What do you notice? After lunch, cake, music, and a happy birthday fiesta, I need a quiet siesta. But when I wake up, I discover that it's already time to start driving home. So we zoom and bump all the way back to our little village where we will soon have a chance to kara kara taka taka pio clunk sleep. The next morning we have to work under the hood once again, never giving up, never losing hope. I'm eager to help Papa guess which tool is best. When he asks me which city trip car I liked most, the answer is easy, our car. The noisy blue one with its ragged seats and cloudy windows. Because Cara Cara already belonged to our family when the, on the day when Abuelo, my old grandpa, celebrated his zero year birthday. Someday Abuelo's car will be yours, Papa promises, making me feel as proud and powerful as the bold eagle that makes Cara Cara Sky blue hood looks so brave. The end. Great listening, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that story of a car and a family and all the things that they did and saw on their adventure. Thinking about cars, not only how they tell us how to get from one place to another, but also the stories they tell and the histories they have. I'm thinking of a toy car in the Mets collection. It's from Indonesia from about the 15th century. Um, looking at this car, what do you notice? What do you think it might be made of? What do you see when you look at the person who's in this car or this cart? If it were yours to play with or to use, what would you do with it? So thinking about that, I have an activity that we can do together, making our own toy car. What you'll need is a toilet paper roll, some bottle caps, some glue and some scissors, and some paint um, or markers could work, and a paintbrush or some kind of way to apply the paint. A roller would work as well. And you can make your own toy truck. So what you'll do is you'll paint the toilet paper roll. You can paint it any color you'd like. 
I chose blue for mine because I was inspired by the blue car in the story. Uh, after that, after it dries, you'll want to apply these uh, bottle caps on the side to be wheels so you can try your car out. And then you can decorate it. I added a gold star in mine. You could add an eagle just like was in the picture. Um, you can add lines or colors of any kind. And you can put a toy in it if you cut out a little spot in the top for a car to a, a driver to go in the car. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me for story time. I'm so happy you happy you joined me, and I look forward to seeing you sometime soon. Goodbye.